The Mount Sinai Otolaryngology Surgical Video Series presents lateral graft tympanoplasty. This procedure is performed by our division neurotologist for tympanic membrane perforations and medial canal stenosis. This video was edited by Zachary Schwamm. Here we have an initial endoscopic view of a left ear canal with no visible tympanic membrane, as it is overgrown by ear canal skin resulting in stenosis and hearing loss. The white dashes represent the outline of the TM and the anticipated location of the malleus is indicated. The blue dashes indicate where we will eventually make our circumferential incision. Normally, the tympanic membrane has three layers, an outer squamous layer, a middle fibrous layer, and an inner mucosal layer. The ear canal is lined by skin, and this is distinct in thickness from the normal TM. This is a more anatomical drawing of the layers, with an outer squamous layer again in blue, the middle fibrous layer in gray, and an inner mucosal layer in pink. The ossicular chain and eustachian tube are shown for reference. In this particular patient's case, the ear canal skin is completely covering the outer squamous layer, resulting in stenosis and conductive hearing loss, as the TM is not able to vibrate normally. What we will be doing in this procedure is removing the ear canal skin from the middle fibrous layer along with a cuff of ear canal skin, placing a graft over the middle fibrous layer, and using a skin graft from the posterior area to help line the medial canal. We start by injecting 1% lidocaine with 1 to 100,000 epinephrine slowly over approximately 1 minute. Using an angled beaver blade, we then make a circumferential cut as outlined in the first slide. Using a suction round knife, we then proceed to elevate the canal skin. Switching to a suction rosin, we continue our dissection, working on a broad plane. As the canal skin is rather tenacious, raising the flap is rather tedious. However, after a bit, we are able to get in the right plane between the canal skin and the fibrous layer of the TM. The fibrous layer is slightly translucent. We will raise this layer off circumferentially. Tough bands are cut with a scissor. The skin is sequentially raised off the fibrous layer with a variety of instruments. A scissor is used to again release some of the tougher areas. After this layer is finally removed, one can see the fibrous layer with a few small expected perforations from dissection. One can see the malleus and umbo as well as the posterior malleolar fold. There is an anterior superior squamous remnant that is particularly tenacious. This will serve as a lip to slide our graft under. A small squamous remnant is removed from the center to prevent cholesteatoma formation. Our graft is then brought into the field and slid in under the anterior lip. A postericular skin graft is then brought into the field, placed circumferentially in the canal, relining the exposed bone and with slight overlap on our graft. Several pieces of gel foam are placed in the center to keep the graft in place.
Bacitracin is then placed in the ear canal.